Hello, my name is Lowell Morris, and today I will be performing the apprehension test. The apprehension test evaluates the possibility of pathology to the glenohumeral joint, and this test is primarily looking for anterior glenohumeral joint laxity, sometimes referred to as dead man syndrome. The mechanism of injury is usually forced external rotation and abduction and hyperextension or a direct blow, but the cause also may, due to, may be due to excessive throwing or serving in tennis. So the typical symptoms are a sudden sharp pain in the shoulder and loss of control of the arm when it is in the position used in throwing, serving in tennis, or swimming the crawl stroke. The anterior capsule, inferior glenohumeroid ligament, or the glenoid labrum have been compromised, which allows the humeral head to dislocate or subluxate anteriorly to the glenoid fossa. When executing the apprehension test, the patient can be in one of three positions. They can choose to sit, stand, or lie supine whatever is most convenient since all positions keep the same actions. The patient will then abduct their glenohumeral joint to 90 degrees, like so, and then proceed to flex their elbow to 90 degrees as well. This is the starting position for the patient. After this, the examiner should be positioned either in front or beside the patient on the side that is effective. <clears throat> then the examiner supports the humerus at mid-shaft here while grasping the forearm proximal to the wrist here. The, to begin the test, while supporting the humerus at 90 degree abduction, the examiner passively externally rotates the glenohumeral joint by slowly applying pressure to the anterior forearm like so. Ow, ow. Okay. So a positive test is indicated by, you can put your arm down, by the patient expressing apprehension that the shoulder may dislocate and resist any further movement. They will also experience pain in the anterior capsule of the glenohumeral joint Apprehension coupled with pain is oftentimes associated with instability secondary to rotator cuff pathology. If there is pain in the deep posterior aspect of the shoulder, it may be associated with internal impingement. The specificity of the apprehension test is 78%, which is relatively well, and the sensitivity of the test is 58%, which is decent. Um, so this is the apprehension test. I hope you enjoyed it.